A forest can be created anywhere, regardless of size. Hello, Shubendu. How are you? Very, very good morning. Shubendu Sharma and his team have been doing just that in this police station courtyard, planting over 1,200 saplings from 56 native species of tree. It transformed how they work. Previously, they used to have their evening meetings inside the office. But since this forest has grown, all those evening meetings happen in this forest. This mini forest lies in the heart of Bangalore, one of India's biggest cities. The forest was grown using a Japanese method called Miyawaki, involving high-density planting. But the layout was inspired by Shibendu's previous job as an engineer for Toyota by applying a car manufacturing technique known as Heijunka. Instead of building car types together in groups, they're spread out for optimum productivity. Shibendu applied the idea to different species of trees and plants. We could generate a list which would tell us how many numbers of each species you should plant in a sequence and what should that sequence should be. Shubendu took his idea to New Delhi, one of the world's most polluted cities, to restore some of the land there via a public partnership. This place was the backflow of the drain. It was filled with sewage water, polluted water. If there is enough resource support, if there is enough government agencies backing this idea, within five to seven years, you could turn Delhi from a concrete city into a living urban forest city. From the government's point of view, urban forestry is a low-cost solution to Delhi's pollution problem. In the beginning, the investment going into the uh, forest may be a little more than the normal uh, plantation uh, which we carry out, but eventually the investment uh, works out cheaper. As our cities continue to grow both in size and population, even the smallest plot of land can be transformed into new forests on everyone's doorstep.